China's top diplomat traveled to North Korea today. The first visit to Pyongyang by a top diplomat from Beijing this decade reflect the Asian giant's eagerness to have a hand in issues related to the reclusive regime. EG1 explains further. China's top diplomat Wang Yi visited North Korea Wednesday morning as requested by his North Korean counterpart Yong Ho. It's the first visit to Pyongyang by a Chinese foreign minister in 11 years. During Wang's two-day visit, the two diplomats will discuss last week's inter-Korean summit as well as denuclearization and ensuring peace on the Korean peninsula. Key agendas for the upcoming North Korea-U.S. summit expected to be held in late May. And with a meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un slated during his stay, Wang's visit is seen as a move to boost the role of China. Amid wide concerns that it's being bypassed on North Korean issues, Beijing has been showing active diplomacy. This in turn has led to the wide speculation that Wang will express China's willingness to hold four-way talks with the two Koreas and the U.S. The Panmunjom Declaration agreed at the Inter-Korean Summit stipulates that the two Koreas will actively pursue three-way or four-way talks with the U.S. and China over denuclearizing North Korea and ensuring a permanent peace on the Korean Peninsula. China will want to listen to the details and the North's perception of last week's declaration, while the North will want to ask for China's support on it. And with the North Korea-U.S. summit ahead, China will also likely emphasize its role in making the historic summit a success. And China's top diplomat may also look to cement plans for Chinese President Xi Jinping's visit to North Korea, which was mentioned when she met Kim Jong-un in Beijing back in March. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.